Baadhi ya majukumu ya serikali za kaunti yanapoendelea kutekelezwa na serikali kuu. Naibu wa Rais Regadi Gashagwe amefungua kikao cha baraza la pamoja kuhusu masuala ya uchumi IBEC kinachojumuisha serikali za kaunti na baadhi ya mawaziri lengo kuu likiwa ni kujadiliana masuala tofauti ikiwemo uchumi na ushirikiano baina ya serikali za kaunti na ile ya kitaifa Welcome to the second IBEC meeting this financial year to those who have come here for the first time karibuni sana I wish to emphasize our commitment to the timely disbursement of funds to counties, prompt payments for goods and services, releases funds to our business people, and spurs economic growth, especially the hustler nation, for a better and vibrant economy. Let money circulate. Akisifia mfumo mpya wa kidijitali wa ukusanyaji ushuru, Gashagwe amesema kuwa kiwango cha ukusanyaji ushuru kimeboreka na mapato kuongezeka. Kaunti 27 zilizobakia zikiraiwa kukubali na kuanza matumizi yake haraka haiwezekanavyo kama nguzo kuu ya kuziba mianya ya ufisadi kukolea katika ugatuzi. We have noted that with the adoption of the tadad system revenue collection is rising. It is our expectation that the 27 counties that have not embraced the system will do so without delay. As we collaborate in addressing productivity in the entire economy, we must tackle the threats of a rising wage bill. Corruption is a threat to both levels of government. Let us work collectively to put in place control measures to monitor use of public funds for procurement and expenditure to be within the law. Sekta ya ukulima na hasa ukulima wa majani chai, miwa, ufugaji wa ng'ombe wa maziwa na pia kahawa umeonekana kama nguzo muhimu katika ukuaji wa uchumi nchini viongozi wa kiraiwa kuhakikisha mbolea ya ruzuku inawafikia wakulima ili kuongeza uzalishaji wa chakula nchini. We are committed to strengthening key value chains including tea, coffee, dairy, livestock, potato and sugar that are potential in the revival of our economy. Let us support the subsidized fertilizer program to enhance food production as one of the ways of reducing the cost of living. Aida naibu wa rais amewapongeza magavana kwa kuendelea kuunga mkono miradi ya serikali chini ya mfumo wa bottom up ikiwemo ujenzi wa nyumba za bei nafuu na pia afya kwa wote akisema ni jambo la busara serikali zote mbili kujadiliana wakati wa wote. His Excellency the President and I remain committed to fostering harmonious and consultative intergovernmental relations and cooperation at both levels of government. This is in pursuit of implementation of the Kenya Kwanza administration's agenda. We acknowledge and appreciate your continued support to the various development interventions under the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. Let us continue to realign our development programs and projects to this agenda. I wish to appreciate your continued support in jointly implementing the affordable housing program and the universal health care programs. I urge you to prioritize prevention health care to enhance quality. Fred Kwambua, Undugu TV.